Welcome to day five. everybody this is redhead goes healthy if you are new to my channel i am on a 21 day reset challenge where i'm focusing on bettering my mind body and soul if you are interested in learning more about that please click on the video above or read the daily goals that i have set below and as a reminder, all of my videos have timestamps. I'm gonna call them different chapters. So if you're interested in just watching what I'm talking about with my mind, you can just click on that link down below. If you're interested in meditating with me, go ahead and click that link down below. Today is a reduction day. I've decided to, instead, instead of calling it reduction, I'm just gonna call it a calorie cut day. It's easier to write and it just sounds better. So typically I would be reducing the amount of calories that I would be consuming today by 75%. My video on Monday was the first time that I tried that out and I honestly could not do the full 75%. I still ate a, I still ate significantly fewer calories that day and it was a very like large deficit for me. But what it taught me was that I don't wanna put pressure on myself to stick to something that's that restrictive. Psychologically, I'm actually realizing that that's not beneficial for me and it's not good for my mind. So instead of that, what I'm going to do today is aim for a 50% reduction. So typically I'll eat 2000 calories a day or at least try to hit somewhere around there. And then what I'm going to do today is reduce that by 50%. So I'm going to try to hit anywhere from 900 calories to let's say 1200 calories. I like to give myself the range of calories because I think that helps psychologically. I don't know if you guys are like that, but I sometimes have to like trick myself. So my weigh in today uh, was a little disappointing and part of what I'm trying to work on is my relationship with the scale. So yesterday I had weighed in at 180.2. I think it might've been 180.2. I don't like to get caught up in the points, but you know, people who watch this understand what I'm, what I'm, you know, talking about. Uh, and this morning I woke up at 181.4. So that's a, that's a gain of like over half a pound. And I, it, it doesn't make sense because I've been sticking to my goals every day and I'm absolutely at a calorie deficit. One thing it could be is that I am now working out a lot more than I was working out the last two months. And in particular, I'm doing the Peloton bike and it is working out my lower you know, body. And so there's like big muscles down there. So it's very possible that I'm going through some inflammation and my body just decided to retain some water overnight. The point is, is I don't wanna make it a big deal. This constant battle with the scale I will feel like my day is ruined if the number on the scale is not what I want it to be. And that for me is the risk of weighing in every single day. So what I'm really trying to do with this information that I received this morning on the scale is just to treat it like a data point. Because in reality, I still have lost a whole pound since starting this 21 day reset challenge which makes sense when I added up the, the math and the, the calorie deficit. So I should be losing anywhere from one to two pounds a week. The most important part is that I absolutely stuck to the plan that I set out for myself. So I know that if I keep doing that, if I keep hitting my goals, then eventually the scale will reflect that. So I have to hope in the, the process. So let's turn now to my mind. We are now finally talking about the teachers of our lives. And again, she's using Dante's Divine Comedy as a way to kind of explore this a bit further. If for those of you who have read Dante's Divine Comedy in the very beginning, he meets his idol Virgil, who is a poet, who is a ghost that comes to help guide him through the dark wood. So similarly for us, Teachers are really important in our lives, but they're not the answer to all our problems. Instead, what they can do is help us to discover our own inner strength and empower us. Martha Beck tells us that we should be on the lookout for what she calls our soul teachers. 
So what exactly is a soul teacher? First, she tells us what a soul teacher is not. A soul teacher is not gonna be some kind of guru who's out there to make money, who's out there to sort of like give you advice, force feed you advice. If we see people out there like that, she says, run away. That's not a, an authentic soul teacher. In this chapter, she offers us some rules for what can count as a soul teacher as we're sort of waiting for our Virgil or our teacher in our own lives. For the 10 pages today, I'm going to give you the first five things that you should look out for when looking for your soul teacher. Number one, they capture your attention. We have all met people like that who have this charisma about them or this energy about them that ultimately attracts us to them. Number two, they come with a dash of magic, she says. Now, of course, not actual magic, but that sort of spark that keeps you interested in getting to know them and learning from them. There's something about them that just seems magical. It could even be how you two met, how they came into your life. You weren't expecting it. And to be clear, this doesn't necessarily have to be a real person. It can be a book. It can be something that you saw on YouTube. It can be a variety of different things. Number three is they offer genuine love. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that they're just gonna accept everything about your life. The job of the teacher is to wake us up. It's gonna feel uncomfortable. But the most important part of this is that this is done out of a place of genuine love. Number four, they don't share culture's values. And these are the values that we've been talking about for the last couple of days. The values that society wants us to have that they want us to be successful or be a particular way, fit into a mold. The teacher is not going to be somebody that just accepts the status quo. And number five, they do not care about the hustle. They don't care. They don't care if you're gonna get likes on your YouTube videos. They don't care if you're gonna be well liked by the people in your life. They are not concerned about the hustle. So that's it for today. Tomorrow, I think there are five more, maybe four more of these different qualities that we can look for when we're trying to meet our soul teacher. And real quickly, my body. I'm gonna try a longer ride today, 45 minutes, nothing too crazy. And then of course, finally, the meditation and feel free to meditate along with me if that's something that you are interested in doing.
Okay, so I will see you in a second for my end of the day daily goals checklist. All right, like I said, 181.2. Read 10 pages of my integrity book, check. My move ring today was very high because of that 45 minute workout. Total calories burned today, 2,500, check. Then we've got one gallon of water, check. Today was a cut and I had 1,100 calories today. I'm not mad about that at all. all right, meditate, you guys saw that. And then film and upload an accountability video. Thank you all, I'll see you tomorrow for day six.